Welcome to TPI, the global leader in test products. I haven't got this lift set up yet, but basically I'm just drawing some circles on various components, uh -huh. mostly like the gearbox and the electric motor. My goal is to get it every lift set up so I could just give this thing to my mechanics and say, go out and you know, and it'll be our part of our monthly checks Sweet. and just go take the readings and then we'll be able to monitor stuff and see and then hopefully see if something is going bad or not. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it's yeah, it's, it's all about the trend kind of thing. We'll take a reading and uh, they just, it's, this thing is really awesome. It, you just take it back and plug it into the computer and it automatically downloads all your readings and you can set up your different routes and uh, stuff like that. So I have it kind of set up for our, all our different lifts and a couple of different uh, points that we'll take readings on. Okay. And it's, it, it's a, a trending kind of thing. This is the free, and it gives you, I think you get, you can do like up to 10 different machines uh -huh. and with a, I think an infinite amount of data points on each machine. Okay, so you have all the lifts set up right yep, there. Yep, so yeah, so this is my lift set up, and if you click on one of those, it goes, and these are the different places, like, uh, you know, I'd go, I'd go like the front end of the motor, the back end of the motor, and then move down to the, you know, gearbox. And, I, and the way I've been doing it, I've just been taking a paint marker and I draw a circle where I've been taking the readings. Okay. So we can be consistent. Uh, when the next time we go out and do it, right? Different places on the motor might have different, you know, vibrations or just, you know, I think consistency is the, the important right. thing. With these. So, how often do the bearings fail? Uh, not not often. Yeah. But uh, I mean, over time, I mean, we typically on a, on a DC motor, it'll go to the motor shop and get new bearings probably every five to six years okay um but that's mostly for a, more of a reconditioning kind of thing because mm -hmm. the motor's starting to uh, lose you know uh, insulation resistance and stuff like that right these ac motors like the big one up there at vc that we just looked at mm -hmm. they can they can go a long time yeah and uh but this that's why this is a uh, you know on the dc motors where we're constantly sending them off to the shop it's like even if the bearings are good mm -hmm. i'm I, I tell them to replace them anyway because it's it's there. Right. And when you're shipping a three thousand pound motor, you know, to the shop to get it rebuilt, it's just yeah. worth it to spend a little extra money and do bearings. So but we got a lot of AC motors now, and they don't go to the shop as much. I right. Mean, they basically work until they don't, and at that point we'd send them off and uh, have have new bearings put in and have it rewound or whatever needs to be done. So this is, I think this is a pretty, would be a very valuable tool for, because we got a lot of AC motors now that aren't necessarily getting gone through every six years like, okay. a, like a DC motor would. So the benefit is that you can catch it before it Yeah, happens. and then, then you know, you're just looking at these different, you know, like I took these readings off of this guy. So that's in the motor one. And what are we looking at? This is, 
So we can go to bearing noise and it registered right here. So this will turn into a graph once I, okay. get, once I get more readings. Okay. So we'll be able to see if it's going up, down, or, you know, I think if, you know, the more noise you start seeing, then the greater chances you have that your bearings are probably going to start uh -huh. failing. So I, I, I think it's this, this really cool for that. And then like, this is, you know, the gearbox. And I don't see these numbers right now. They just don't really mean anything to me because I've sure. only taken one reading. Because it's all about a so, trend. Yeah. So once I get, you know, we do it two or three times, uh -huh. then, then we'll be able to really see that trend. And It's, it's pretty smart. And you, you dial in what speed you are actually running. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is kind of yeah, okay. tricky on gearboxes because they... Huh? You know, it might, it, on the input side, it's running at a certain speed, and then the second stage, it's a little slower, and the third stage, it's a little slower, and knowing what those ratios exactly are is, you know, I'd have to do quite a bit of math. But I pretty much got it set up, so, you go to, uh, if I do this off route one here, if I click on that, it gives me the option to, to change the run speed. Okay. And I've been pretty do much doing them all at 1794 because okay. that's a pretty typical RPM for okay. for a motor. So um, was it pretty easy? You mentioned it was pretty easy to set up and. Yeah, I spent an hour reading through the manual and just went out and started playing with it, and it's it's a lot less complicated than I had thought it might be. Awesome. So yeah, it's it's really user friendly and uh, to. If you want to download your readings, you have to pop it out of the case, and then you just slide it into this cradle and USB right into the computer, and and it just uh, you just have to click on the from meter, and it'll it wow, just, just uh, like plugging your phone in to download your pictures. Exactly, yeah, it's yeah, super easy. And it nice. Automatically puts it all in there and starts graphing it, and so. This year, I'm kind of just trying to get it set up and play with it a little bit, and then I think, you know, throughout the summer and, and definitely next winter, this will be one of our monthly checks that Part everybody of the does. <laughs> you put these in your ears, and then you touch a motor that's running, and it's pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, the alternative yeah, that's cheap the, method. Yeah. That and the screwdriver. Yeah, the screwdriver works good if you don't have that with you. That's, you know, by far better. Yeah. It's but that's, how loud that's it even is. better. Yeah. 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 yeah.